Outlier 2 versus Outlier 2 XL. Fight! Hey everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX. And I'm Matt McMullen with Smith Optics. We are here in Post Canyon in beautiful Hood River, Oregon to test some glasses and play with some bikes and generally have a good time. And we are discussing what's better, the Outlier 2 versus the Outlier 2 XL. And the answer is, depends on your head size. So they're essentially the same exact pair of glasses. They're super nice glasses. I'm gonna be doing like a long-term full review on the Outlier 2 XL because I've been wearing it like since I got them. I almost feel like I don't wanna take them off my face. I got them with photochromatic prescription lenses. Um, they're, they're just amazing glasses, but really the main difference here is the size. Uh, Matt, I would say is about a perfect medium, small to medium, yep. almost average, maybe a tiny bit under average yeah, head size. Exactly. And I'm like bigger than average. I'm like large to extra large. Um, I usually need bigger glasses. I kind of have a bigger head. I'm a bigger dude. So um, that's the regular fit. Yep. This is the XL fit. They kind of fit us perfectly. Can I borrow your glasses of for course. a second? Just want to kind of give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. It's almost like the smaller ones fit inside. Um, I kind of like doing this shot too. Our videographer is having fun right now with me. <laughs> They're definitely smaller. And then here is the smaller ones on a big head. And this pairs a, a true small to medium. I almost think if you're an average person, I almost opt to go bigger, right? Yeah. But there's the big ones on a small head with clear lenses. That yep. looks great. And here's the small ones on a big head. That, let's, can we switch back? Of please? course, this because is... your prescription is going to make me throw up. Ah, <laughs> we don't want I, that. Forgot, I forgot Not, those were prescriptions. Keep it off camera. Keep it off camera. <laughs> so that's the difference really between the outlier. A couple of just things to know if you're even considering the outlier. I already vote that you get them. I think the really cool thing about the outlier too, uh, family is that their performance lifestyle glasses, if I could steal a quote from Matt, yep. they're definitely performance eyewear. Like I think almost before their lifestyle eyewear, but they look good off the bike. And if you're into more that's not as rappy, not as lycra-y, not as uh, cross country-y, roady kind of look. And if you just want to be a little bit more cash, like if you wear button up shirts when you're mountain biking, you yep. can probably understand this a little bit more. Um, this pair is going to give you that aesthetic and so far, absolutely no performance um, negotiation. No, no, you're not giving up anything on performance. The rubber nose pads, the rubber temples right in the right place, the slightly thicker temple, the fact that it's not a full eight base wraparound and not a flat four pace, it's just kind of right in the middle. Um, it works amazing. If you have a high prescription tube, this is a really good option for you. And if you are thinking about getting them in prescription, um, I'm really digging the photochromatic lenses because you can wear them night riding on the bike, off the bike, in a pinch they can get you through as eyeglasses. It looks a little sporty, but it's not bad. Um, but you can also get them in Chroma Pop, actual, authentic, real, amazing Chroma Pop lenses in prescription, which is just ridiculously cool. So uh, let us know in the comments below if you're an Outlier 2 XL kind of guy or an Outlier 2 kind of guy, and who wore it better. 